Let's go, I know I'll hold short for you. Thanks, Foggy. I just want to do a couple of circuits on runway 27. No worries, I'm heading for Alpha and I'll probably take off on 23. Yeah, no worries. Nice day for it. For a traffic technician, crossing. 09027 on the parallel. 4057 enters at backtracks on runway 27.
this is my second attempt uh, at my May update. The first one didn't work out so well if you are unfortunate enough to try and watch it for six minutes of, of virtually nothing. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it's, uh, it's progressed. It actually looks like it's gone backwards. Um, there's no uh, horizontal stabiliser, no rudder, no wings, my God, no turtle deck, um, oil tank and oil cooler all disconnected. Well, actually, in fact, it's gone a long way forward. Over here in the corner, which I made some space for, we've got uh, the four wings are all stacked up. Uh, the uh, fuel tanks have both been pressure tested and uh, fine. Elevators ready to cover, rudders ready to cover, uh, horizontal stabilizers ready to cover. So we've actually advanced a fair bit. Um, I'll wheeze you around quickly here. The turtle deck is off and it's actually sitting on the bench here. Um, the ground plane's been riveted on, so we've now got uh, uh, flush uh, 332 rivets holding that on. I'm not happy with the, with the um, instrument panel. Um, I want to make an aluminium one. This is a second-hand one out of another aeroplane, out of a, well, it hasn't been fitted to an aeroplane, it's a piece of second-hand material. Uh, I'm going to make something like the front one that wraps around and um, uh, is actually attached uh, to the fiberglass. Um, and then where these instrument holes are now, I'll, I'll cut that out uh, and the instruments will actually attach here to, the, uh, to the, this aluminium instrument panel. Through the week I received uh, my new to me propeller. This uh, propeller was used on, previously on a um, on a small biplane uh, with one of those engines attached. So hopefully the pitch is, is pretty close to, uh, to being spot on. Um, I guess since I made the last update, I've started, I've actually completed the, um, the oil system. So the oil plumbing is all connected up. Now, if, uh, if you put oil in the oil tank and um, uh, it would just about provide oil to the uh, to the engine. I've started making fuel lines. Fairly complicated looking uh, beast. Um, it's not finished yet. I need I need to put some fittings on each end, but uh, it's getting pretty close to where I want it. Bending. I, I know you're gonna you're gonna think this anyway, but bending pipe is really not my thing. The fuel lines will run here. There's a fuel valve, a four-way valve here. So I've got right tank, left tank, supply to the engine, which will be this one. That's finished. It's got to have some P-clips to hold it on, which I've got no shortage of P-clips. But um, this uh, second one, the one from the middle, comes here. That will go to an auxiliary fuel tank that's mounted on the front on the front seat. Uh, whether I carry the fuel tank and a passenger at the same time, probably not. It'll probably uh, just uh, simply to go to, uh, you know, to fly away to air shows and so on. My passenger will have to drive. Uh, so yeah, the the right fuel tank will be uh, plumbed in here. Uh, it'll come up this vertical and uh, up this rear uh, cabane strut uh, to the fuel uh, tank. The other one's a bit more complicated. It obviously comes down that cabane strut, down here, goes behind or under the instrument panel along this structural, across this structural here where these wires are, uh, and then goes down the vertical, the same as the other one and connects to the other, the other port uh, on the fuel valve over the other side here. But no, I'm very happy with the progress. Um, 
I've got this unusual battery box. I've made the battery box. It will carry one of these batteries. Uh, I'm going to have to use this as C or G as well to, mat, to uh, balance the C or G. So uh, it'll use, I've got two batteries here at the moment, just simply to weigh it down. It weighs, it, without the horizontal stabiliser and so on, it's very light on the back end. Um, so yeah, there's just simply two batteries. And neither of these batteries are any good. They're both... Um, they're both uh, unserviceable, but I do have one that I can fit, and of course uh, it can move along this area to go in whatever locations required to get the CFG correct, and then it'll be attached down properly. So that's pretty good. Um, well, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, the RV, nothing. Haven't. I've flown it a couple of times, I must admit, and I haven't recorded it. But it's happy as Larry, as usual. Um, the Renegade here, the 582 Renegade. Um, I fitted a couple of um, motorbike uh, spotlights or driving lights or whatever. My objective is not to light the, the whole airport up. My objective is purely to, uh, purely to put load on the alternator. Uh, these little two strokes don't have a, a stable electrical output and that shows up in the radio. I've been through two radios already, I'm on my third one uh, and no, I, um, I don't want to wreck another radio, I can't, afford, I can't afford it, it's cheaper to just hire a helicopter whenever I feel like going for a fly instead of flying myself. If I've got to keep buying a radio every flight. Got a new uh, mount for the uh, camera, and if if actually I'll I'll probably give you a little bit of um, footage from that before I start this particular video. So there you go, that's where we are. That's what's happening in the hangar today, for 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 the month of May, I guess. It's now June number three. Yeah, let's go and see how this turns out.